Riverside City College School of Business show. My name is Justin Hudson. And I'm Ajane Wilcoxon. One of our goals is to bring you entrepreneurs, academic instructors, classified professionals, and leaders within our community. Today we are joined by Bernadette Roshan, Assistant Professor of Business Administration and Student Financial Services Analyst here at Riverside City College. So, so tell us, where are you from? What high school did you go to? What college degrees have you earned? So I'm actually from Riverside, but I was born in a small town in uh, Arizona. It's called Wickenburg, Arizona. It's a little dirt town. Probably never heard of it. Nope, haven't heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a small little dirt town. Um, and then I actually moved. Uh, my dad passed away when I was two, so me and my mom, we kind of moved around a lot, and I actually settled in Riverside. You know, we came a few times, but we settled here probably when I was in second grade. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so I've been in Riverside ever since. My I have my family here now, um, been part of the community. Um, I went to Rubido High School. Yeah, Rubido. I mean, I mostly lived in Rubido, like right off the street by Tiffany's. Only reason I'm giving you props about Rubido, because I went to Poly. It's because it's you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, my son goes to Poly. You guys yeah, are enemies. Yeah, that's right. The best. Where'd you go? <laughs> I went to King, the best high school. Oh, King. <laughs> King. That's good. That's good. Yeah, Rubido didn't like anybody. No, y'all didn't. We were the rough ones. Yeah, you were. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, um, and then I actually, it's funny because I didn't even plan to go to college. I signed up here uh, to work. My friend, she had been graduated from um, high school already, and she showed up here, got a job, started going to school. And what happened is I just kind of followed her. I went and I bugged Cecilia at the time. I asked her if I get a job and she hired me. Wow. So I started working here, registration started. And so I signed up for a class. Awesome. Yeah, actually I signed up for full time and I worked part time. So yeah, so I, I came here to RCC. I got my AS, my AA for transfer. Mm. I transferred to University of Redlands. Oh. Um, and then I got uh, my bachelor's in business and management. Mm. And then I got my, I actually got married, had a son, took a break. And then I went back and I got my master's in business. Wow. wow. Yeah, That's at awesome. University of Redlands. They actually have a working adult program. So I'd go one night a week. Um, and then it took about two years for each of them, and they got my master's. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So I just want to know, what made you decide to major in business? Um, actually, it was funny because I did general transfer for, with my AA and my AS because I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't even know I was going to come to college. So, um, But I did take I took one business class, and mm -hmm. it was management communication, I believe, with Wallace mm -hmm. was her name. Mm -hmm. And um, I just kind of remembered that class. It was tucked in the back of my head. And so what I did is I signed up for um, business at Redlands just kind of on a whim. I really? honestly didn't know, but once I was there, like I knew that business was my jam. And so... I like that. And so what made you decide to get your MBA? Um, once I did my bachelor's in business and management, I wanted to continue. Yeah, I felt like with my bachelor's, you can only do so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and I did venture out. I was an a entrepreneur, like consulting a little bit, um, but I just felt like I needed more education. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Wow. So what are you doing now, career-wise? Oh, so um, I've actually been at RCC for many, many years. Um, I started in 98, like I said, part-time, and then I trans... Oh, I actually left. I worked in the private sector. I worked at another community college. They actually recruited me out there. Don't say the name. Oh, I won't. <laughs> I won't. We don't want people hating. So, um, but um, I just worked there for a little bit, and then I came here... Um. I came back here as a part-timer, and then I got hired full-time in 2004 for veterans. Oh. I was a technician for the veterans office. Okay. Wow. And then I worked there. I worked in admissions. I worked at Marina Valley for a little bit, and then I got promoted. And I'm a student financial services analyst now, still. I've been doing that for the past uh, probably like eight years or ten years maybe. Actually, ten years. And then um, I also am adjunct faculty here for business. Oh, wow. So you're so. busy. You have a busy schedule. Yeah, I work like almost all day, every day. <laughs> so. Wow. And so out of all of your experiences, um, did you ever have a business that you enjoyed doing or your own business? 
Um, yeah, I did some consulting for a little bit, but like okay. I said, I'm really busy. So mm -hmm. I kind of had to decide like where to invest my time. And honestly, my heart is in teaching. Mm -hmm. I love it so much because finance is my jam. Yeah. I got certified in personal finance um, when I started here as an analyst. Wow. There was an initiative by the chancellor's office to bring financial literacy education to the college. Wow. And so I did that. And um, I just, you know, and plus I was already teaching business classes, management classes, so I just really invest a lot of my time into my classes. I do a little consulting, but honestly, I end up networking and kind of handing them off because I can only help them so much. Right. But I do want to get back into it because yeah. I was able to help like a lot of people in the community. So, so. Oh, that's awesome. That's no, great. It is beautiful. What made you decide to enter higher education? Uh, again, it was an accident, but I just couldn't leave. Like, I love everything about the college. I mm -hmm. love the college feel. I love, in fact, my favorite day of the year is graduation. Wow. Because I just love seeing people like me from wow. Riverside, yeah. you know, maybe have a little more, maybe have a little less um, wow. succeeding. I love sports on campus. I love when we have the art walk, the yeah. ceramics and the chili bowls and the ice cream. I just love the college feel. Yeah. I love seeing people succeed. Wow. That's really wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. So what are, who inspired you? Oh, I've had many people invest in me along the way. So many people. Um, I've had several bosses. I have a mentor in my personal life. Mm. Yeah, she's been through everything. She's had a great career. Um, people like you, oh, they're you. there for me, push me Appreciate to do that. better and more. Um, I honestly like just going to the business department. In fact, there was an event the other day and as part-timers were invited and it wasn't just one invite. It was like, Hey, don't forget to come. Like that means a lot mm. to us, you know, part-time faculty and, uh, classified professionals here in the college. So, you know, that was really nice. Um, so yeah, awesome. but so many people along the way, I've had managers, mentors, um, and everyone at the business department, always willing to ask, answer questions. Love it. Love it. Tell us then, this is real important and our students need to hear it. How do you maintain your mental health with your busyness of being a financial analyst as well as being an educator? Um, you know, I had to ask myself the other day because somebody asked me a few months ago, what do you do for self-care? And mm -hmm. I couldn't answer right away. I had to really think about it because to me, I think it's self-care like, oh, I'll go get my nails done uh, or oh, I'll, I'll, I don't know, I'll right. take a nap, watch a show. But I had to really think about it. And to me, it's um, kind of a holistic approach. And it just depends because times are changing so much now yes. and I am changing. So I have to evolve with that. My self-care has to evolve. I have to have emotional, mm. social, mm. Um, environmental mm. cues that remind me, okay, you need to take a step back. What is it you need to change? Um, and then I do that. I'll, I'll do different things. Like maybe I learn something new. Maybe I take a day off and go on a, like, a little road trip or I go to the beach or I just mm. veg out. Or I do a social event. Yeah, yeah. So basically some kind of way to take care of myself, um, make sure I'm okay. And then also I've noticed the biggest thing is to acknowledge like it's okay to not be okay sometimes. Oh, mm. would you look at the students? It's okay to not be okay oh, I sometimes. Love that. That's right. It's okay. That's good. Thank so. you for sharing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is important to us because we're avid readers. What is a book you would highly recommend to our viewers? Oh, it's so hard to think of one book because there's a few that have really changed me. And I will say this, like, I am the kind of person I'll read a book and I don't always agree with everything. Mm. Um, recently, As you shouldn't. Right. Recently, I read Four Agreements. I like that. But I would say for women in business is Lean In. And that is a book that I don't agree with everything. Lean In, yes. Yeah, Lean In is good. But she said something on there that liter literally changed my life. Mm. She said that the average working mom in 70s, I mean, no, I'm sorry, the average working mom nowadays spent the same amount of quality time with her kids as a mom in the 70s that was a stay-at-home mom. And so the guilt from being a working mom, always busy, away from my kids sometimes until nine at night or 10 at night because I have a class, like it just lifted because what I do, I learned is that my time with my kids is quality time mm. because I am away from them. 
So that book really wow. like made an impact on me. That's good. Y'all need to read that book, Lean In. So the author of that, I, I can't Cheryl recall her name. Sandberg. Cheryl Sandberg. Yeah. yeah. She's the uh, CEO of what was used to be called Facebook. Yeah. She was Google before that. And then she actually just left there. I don't even know what she's doing now. But yeah, she. Uh, it's a really good book for women in business. Awesome. That's good. awesome. Now, switching gears a little bit, we're, we're going to go a little personal. Okay. So what is one song that would describe you... And would be just your your mantra that mm. would best you know if we didn't know you and someone said what song do you listen to and that's just your overall theme song for your life what Love song it. would that be? Well, did you guys know there's a song called Bernadette <laughs> no, by the Four Tops? Oh yes, that's not my song though. It's a clingy <laughs> love song. Looks like that's Dr. Argentine's song. <laughs> it's that's a clingy love memories. song. It's not my song, but there is a song called <laughs> yes, Bernadette. There is. Okay. How does it go? I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing it. I can't. She yells my name. Bernadette. He, yes. Bernadette. Yes. He that's yells exactly my it. name. So when I hear it, I'm like, I've oh my gosh. It. The whole name, not just Bernie. Bernadette. That's right. Um, but honestly, I think it's feeling good. I think Simone, uh, Nina Simone sang it. Oh. Michael Bublé yeah. recently. Oh, okay. Feeling good is like my my song right now. Or that's the song that would describe my life right now. Awesome. Wow. So you're in a good space. Yes. It's awesome. Even if not, I won't admit it. I'm yeah. always trying to be positive and okay. feeling good, and yeah, I just it, and it makes you like look at like your like your surroundings and just feel good. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I got a little excited, y'all. I apologize. I haven't heard that <laughs> that song, the name, in a long time, and it brought if back a lot asleep, of memories. That definitely woke you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I apologize. I screamed a little bit. Okay, so <laughs> today, this month, the last three months, what? is your favorite song my favorite song right now <clears throat> i had to ask my daughter because i love music mm -hmm. we, me and her are always listening to music she can sing pretty not me mm -hmm. um but i think it's gratitude i think oh. brandon lake is yeah. the artist yeah it's a song called gratitude just really pretty wow yeah that's nice my song right now love it yeah. thank you thank you now what is one word that will best describe you and why I want to think of something cute and fancy, but I'm going to have to go with resilient. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I, I've been through a lot. I, I had a lot of loss growing up. I've seen a lot of stuff, mm. a lot of barriers that even I created. Mm. Um, but funny. you know what? Like every day I still would wake up and suit up and show up. And wow. I'm like that to this day. One more time. Yeah. Suit One up more and time. show up every, every day. Every day. Wow. Y'all yep. hear that? Every day. I might be Sooner tired with bags up. under my eyes, Come on. And, but I'm going to do it. So I think I'm resilient. Wow. That's awesome. How do you instill that into your family? Um, I just tell them, you know, you, you can learn from my experiences. You can learn from your own experiences. You have to believe in something outside of yourself, you know, mm -hmm. some kind of um, faith in something, mm -hmm. you know, and then just keep going. Wow, because, you know, actually Tupac says it. He's like, even when everything's bad, there's always going to be better days. Come on. Better days. You know? better, days. better days. Always better days. So. Oh, I wow. love it. I love it. Okay, so we always ask this toward the end. What is a thought or idea you'd like to share with our Riverside City College community? Um, I would say invest. And when, and when I say invest, I say I'm talking about invest in yourself, in your education, and financially. So when I say invest in yourself, what I'm talking about wow. is investing in, you know, your 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 wellness, setting goals, making sure that you, you know, you're taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. invest in your educate education, continue learning, whether you're training, um, graduate college, go mm -hmm. to a university, mm -hmm. uh, learn from people that are wiser than you have different experiences than you and then finance uh, invest financially so financially I uh, you know look plan for longevity you know start yeah. saving when you as soon as you can it doesn't matter where you're at in life but start saving when you start working start investing um, and then you know we were just talking about it earlier you know control your spending um, you know, make sure that you're just really investing in yourself all around because at the end of the day, you're always going to have yourself 
And it's just really important to take care of yourself and, and trust yourself and know that you can do it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's Drop good. the mic on that one. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Bernadette, thank you for being here with us today. Absolutely. And we want to thank you all for watching. Yep. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you all next time. Next week. All right. Peace, y'all. Thank you.